Hey guys, I'm Taylor from Coaster Studios, bringing you videos of thrilling attractions all across the country. We are here in Moab, Utah. This beautiful location is famous for Arches National Park, but is also home to Raven's Rim Zipline. This zipline experience is like nothing you have ever seen before. We are going in with GoPros, we have my pivot head POV glasses, and my normal camera, and we are going to be showing you guys what this experience is like, because I'm telling you, you may have done ziplines, but you have not done Raven's Rim Zipline. This is the craziest thing. This will be our first time doing it, so we're gonna go and show you what it is like. I'm really excited for this. I'm excited to bring you guys along with me. So let's go. Hold on. Once we get you um, into the shop, we are sizing you up for your harnesses. The guides will lay out the equipment. And once we have you geared up, then we put you inside these 4x4 UTVs. And the UTV ride is about 20, 25 minutes, solid four-wheel drive trip up and over the cliff line. It's almost a thousand feet elevation game. The four-wheel drive is the adventure of the tour. The zip lining's fun. The four-wheel drive is really where the adventure's at. Just because there's so many variables, just getting the vehicles up and over the type of hill and terrain that you're going over takes longer to train than it does actually the zip line guiding itself. Once you arrive to the actual zip line course, which is in a remote area over the cliff line, you'll have six different zip lines. Two of the zip lines are approximately a quarter mile in length and there's also a hundred foot suspension bridge that connects between two sandstone fins. Holy Zip and Home Runner are longest zip lines. Uh, Holy Zip is around 1,300 uh, feet and Home Run is about 1,400 feet. That's our last zip line. You can reach pretty high speeds, especially if you get some tailwind behind you. You can reach speeds over 40 miles an hour on those lines, which is really fun. Typically, you find that the people are the most apprehensive. Once they get up there, our zip lines start shorter and slower and not very high off the ground. So you become familiarized with our equipment. They gain a lot of confidence. They end up, all of the different things that they were really worried about kind of start to subside. They start to see, you know, what exactly um, is happening instead of just their fears. So they usually have the most fun. Once you've completed the entire zip line course, all the six zip lines and the 100 foot suspension bridge, put you back in the four-wheel drive vehicle, head all the way back down the hill again on another four-wheel drive adventure. So it's a little over a half a mile on hiking in total, and um, the tour uh, in total takes about two and a half hours. <laughs> 